really smart. <laughs> Hi everybody! Hi. Hi everyone! Did y'all miss us? Were y'all looking for us this weekend? Just kidding. Hi everybody! Welcome to the Hi's Your Show. I am Maya. I'm Hajir. And today we are going to be talking about... Before we start, I just want to remind everybody, if you have a topic that you would like for us to talk about, you can send it to us in the comments below. Or you can send it to us in an email at info at hygienenetwork.com. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for following us on all social media. If you are on TikTok and you are not following us on Facebook, you are missing out and vice versa. So make sure that you um, go to all of our social media pages, Hygiene Network. I was about to say dot com. Just hide, <laughs> just hide your network, okay? Yep, yep. Assalamu uh, alaikum, kullukum. Hanitkallam al leila an. Marhab, marhab, marhab. Shukran. Hanitkallam an. Tayf al tawahud, yom al itnin. Huwa yom al tawahia, bi tayf al tawahud. Monday is Autism Awareness Day. And all day we talk about autism. So it's autism all day every monday yes so today we're gonna like switch it up a little bit we're gonna be talking about upper uh, parent size so we've talked about the signs of autism we spoke about what to look for in your Snowy. child sorry y'all know i talk fast we are going to talk from parent perspective the family um who have a child that diagnosed is it just being diagnosed or already being diagnosed or they're just at the verge so drop your comments questions um i wrote a post earlier on facebook about uh, the questions that as parent we get all the time it doesn't make sense but it shows me that a lot of people are not aware or they don't have the knowledge on what autism is. Right. Um, I get the question when they see Karim's picture and they say, oh, he look normal. When they see Karim, they say, oh, he looks normal. That means they don't know what autism is actually is. Right. A lot of kids who have different diagnoses um, Down syndrome, for example, or other different abilities. We don't call it disabilities. We call it different abilities. The kids with different abilities, some um, diagnoses, they will have features. Malamihun, features. Features. Malamih. 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 ممكن يعرف تعرف إنه الطفل دا عنده احتياجات خاصة. التوحد يا إخواننا ما في أي ملامح. مع إلا إذا الطفل عنده تشخيص ثاني. Unless your child have a different diagnosis with autism, uh, they're not gonna have features. They're not gonna look different. Right. It's not like a Down syndrome, and I think some people get it confused. Yeah. With the two, um, I was just about to read that for you. Okay. So April said, "Where do I get someone diagnosed?" Okay. So let's do this. If you are a parent and you felt that there is something different with your child, don't wait. Like get them diagnosed, get them first of all to see a doctor. So April, the first thing, you are going to talk to your pediatrician. Doctor al-atfal or tabib al-atfal, say tabib. Tabib al-atfal. Al-atfal. That's the pediatrician. So you want to talk to Tabib al-Atfal or your pediatrician and talk to them about your concerns. Talking about it is not going to make it happen. Right. Talking about it is not going to speak it into existence. Right. We hear that a lot. A lot mm -hmm. of people are like, don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. You are going to make it happen. No. It's already happened. Literally. Yep. From in the womb. So, yep, from the womb. So discuss with the doctor April 1st. Uh, talk to them about why you think your child, um, you think they have autism. As a parent, you will know, you will feel. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
if your pediatrician is someone who doesn't believe because you know what let's be honest just like how sometimes your family member would tell you your kid will grow out of it mm -hmm. the doctor might say um it's are you sure yeah. mm -hmm. it's too early nope if you felt there is something need to be addressed and the doctor is not doing it april find another pediatrician or you can contact the developmental pediatrician which is a specialist someone who is specialized in developmental milestone developmental delays uh, all of the diagnosis will come from the developmental pediatrician if you live in the united states and you are in any of the 50 states there is something called early intervention mm -hmm. the name might be different in every state but it all falls with early intervention <clears throat> here in pennsylvania april you can go to the early intervention website uh, reach out to them give them a call have them come to the house they will do two steps two steps the first step is they're going to talk to you as a mother and as a father and know why you think your son or daughter um, could be autist, uh, mm -hmm. going through this um, autism spectrum disorder, right? Once they get the information from you, they will schedule an appointment to come and meet the child in person. Right. So the early intervention will come to the house. They are going to talk to you and watch, observe. They call it observation. <clears throat> so they're going to observe your child and see if your concern is true concern. Then once they do that, the second step is they're going to invite all the team. They are going to bring a speech therapist. That's always uh, included in the early intervention. Speech therapist, akhisa'i mukhataba, occupational therapist. They are going to involve behavioral therapist. Mm -hmm. And if your child have uh, trouble with walking, ability, like the movement part, or they're excessively walking on their tippy toes, then they are going to involve um, physical therapist with it, right? <clears throat> um, so once they get all the team together, they're going to come and all observe together. At that day, they will develop an educational plan. So that day, your child will not get a, a, a diagnosis because they're not doctors. They right. are going to refer you mm -hmm. to the developmental pediatrician. But you will have something to take to your doctor and say he was observed mm -hmm. and diagnosed with the early intervention. Because they're a specialist, so they know more, right? Um, once the early intervention give you something they call IEP, Individual Educational Plan. And by individual, it focus on your child. Right. So a lot of misconceptions, a lot of things that we hear, um, that there is one size fit all. Mm -hmm. Nope. That's why they call it spectrum disorder, right? right. So it is a um, rainbow. There is mild autism, moderate autism, severe autism. And there is Asperger's syndrome. Mm -hmm. There is other part of the um, the spectrum. So once they give you the um, the level that your son or daughter is at, uh, they will tell you what the plan. And the plan is perfect for them. It is not for Maya's right. kid. Mm -hmm. um, April is not going to be. So it's going to be different. Once you have that diagnosis, then if if your son or daughter are under three years old. The early intervention will help. If they are three and above, here in Pennsylvania, it's the Capital Area Intermediate Unit, C-A-I-U. Capital Area Intermediate Unit. You also contact them. They will come to you and they will do a diagnosis. If April said, I have a 43 years old who was uh, displaced by her mother passing. DHS told me that due to her age, she would have contact them. Uh, can you finish? She would have to contact yeah, them. To um, 
April, if the um, 43 years old person uh, is mentally challenged, uh, mentally delayed, they cannot talk, they cannot advocate for themselves, and they're telling you that they have to make that call, then you need to get someone involved. You need to speak with someone at the DHS and let them know that this person is nonverbal or they have trouble communicating or anything. But if they don't have the actual diagnosis at age 43, they can still get diagnosed. But you're going to have to reach out to um, a, a different uh, specialist. Right. Because we're talking about adult. I'm not sure if you saw our video with India. <clears throat> she was diagnosed at age 24, I think. Yeah, I think she got So I it's think, yeah. never too late to reach out. Even if you um, know that you might be misdiagnosed, you can reach out and get that. But I will look more into this, April, and, and I will reach out and let you know. So but, our next <clears throat> question is, does autism do autism traits have to appear while they are still young or can it start appearing more as they get older that's a good question so normally since they reach the age of one you can start noticing or before that but sometime um, if it's mild the symptoms will be uh, masked mm. if you're not paying attention and you don't know what you're looking for. Uh, if you never had a child before, you might not know the developmental milestone. Right. But that's um, not, it's, it's not the case all the time because autism, I know a lot of people that did not get diagnosed until later age. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a friend who they always knew that something is different and you will hear that. I said it before, they will say, uh, or this person has a lot of activity, he's super active, mm -hmm. or they will say, this kid is busy, mm -hmm. or they will say, oh, motofish, this kid is not paying attention, mm, he like they will try to just um, brush it off, right? They are going to say, oh, they will grow out of it. Uh, you will hear all the time that they will say, oh, such and such kid did not speak until they were five or six so your son would be fine right um that's not normal and when i say normal i don't mean the normal like uh, as a um uh, labeling right. no i mean if someone did not speak until five years old and everything else is they're doing everything through the milestone at the way it's supposed to be based on a book of developmental uh, pediatrician or the milestone of developing if they're doing everything except speaking then they might it might be another diagnosis it doesn't have to be autism it could be something else right. it could be um, a speech delay they could have problem with their jaw they could have problem with their you know their mouth inside of their mouth their tongue so that's why you need to see a speech therapist um, a specialist in communication and you have to address it so please do not brush like seriously when people push things away and brush things and say they will grow out of it it is not an outfit right. it is not a t-shirt that you're gonna grow out of it right. if there is something causing you delay whether it's learning whether it's talking whether it's just eating, communicating, responding mm -hmm. to others. That need to be addressed. And um, <clears throat> when to go back to the question, if you did not notice anything when the person is young, when they get older and you notice it, you still need to intervene. Right. And it could be autism. Um, we have the, the young lady who grew up here in the U.S., I can't say like it was in a different country and they're brushing it off. No, she grew up here in the United States and she struggled. She struggled with bullying. She struggled with not wanting to be around her friends in school. She wanted to be alone. She wanted to be left alone. Mm -hmm. um, people were saying, oh, you're antisocial. It could be a trait of being antisocial, right. but being antisocial 
it could be a sign of autism or something similar. Um, she was having a lot of small minor trouble with doing the day-to-day -day activity. Mm -hmm. She did not like people hugging her. And, you know, people were saying, just leave her. She is, this is India. This is how she is. Um, then later in her life, she was able to get the help she needed because she got the appropriate diagnosis. So um, to answer your question, you can get diagnosed at any age and you can get help at any age. Right. <clears throat> Next question is, how do we address it if we are in countries outside of the West, like without having access to all the supports? What I would say is if you have access to the Internet, um, do your research, find out what's in your community, which, what would help your kid or what will help you as an adult if you feel like you yourself may have autism or, or anything. Um, research that is important. Depend, that depends on where they act. Let's so see. if you're in Sudan with the war now, there is no, not enough help. So you have to do it on your own. Even before the war in Sudan, um, there were few people that are working with the special needs but they don't have the resources. There is right. no early intervention. There is no pediatrician who will um, sit down and give you the diagnosis and guide you. Like here, you have a school that is set for kids with special needs. In Sudan, this even before the war, it was a problem because they were labeling the kids. You are put in the back of the class you are not allowed to be with the general population in most places, I'm not saying everywhere. So if you are in Sudan, <clears throat> or a country that is, I'm like, what is this following me, it's my hair. <laughs> if you're in Sudan or um, in a country that does not have resources for helping kids with autism, like Maya said, continue with what you're saying, um, just educate yourself on what you can do at home. It's a lot harder to do it by yourself, but there are resources resources on YouTube, TikTok, even Instagram Reels on what you can do for your child if you feel like they have symptoms and how to cope with those different things. Yeah. Uh, people are asking for you to translate in Arabic. Tamam. Okay. Al-kalam da hangulu bil Arabi. Sorry, uh, if you're not Arabic speaking, you are going to hear the same information in a different language. Uh, طيب, uh, لكل الأمهات وأباء أطفال التوحد نبدأ من البداية. أول حاجة uh, يعني ملاحظتكم بتلاحظ أنت من البداية إنه طفلك uh, طريقة تعامله مختلفة. وبالذات لو أنت عندك uh, طفل ده عندك أطفال تاني uh, النمو بتاعه كان uh, متابع للنمو اللي قاله الدكتور اللي قاله الكتاب. كويس انا ما بحب استخدم كلمه طبيعي ولا طفل عنده اعاقه بنقول عنده قدرات مختلفه different abilities قدرات مختلفه فلو طفلك حسيت به انه ما بيرضى تحضنه ما بيعاين لك في عينك بيمشي باطراف اصابع عينه يعني في علامات كثيره علامات كثيره ممكن توريك انه الطفل ده مختلف عن الأطفال اللي ولدتهم قبله أو الأطفال اللي شفتهم في حياتك لو بقيت طفلكم الأول ولاحظت إنه في حاجة مثلا طفلك ما بيحب إنك تحضنه بيدفرك بعيد ما بيعاين لك في عيونك بيكرر نفس الخطوات بيجري بدون هدف بيعاين بيركز مع الأضواء الشديدة بيركز مع الحاجات المتحركة بيروس لعباته أو بتروس لعباتها بطريقة نمطية يعني ما مثلا العربية لو عنده عربات صغيرة ما بيلعب بها الإميتيشن البلاين يعني لما يكون بيلعب وبيحاكي إميتيتي بيحاكي إميتيشن فلما يكون ما بيحاكي مثلا صوت العربية بيشيل العربية بيرصها بيخدتهم صف كده يعني كريم زمان كان بيخد اللعبات بتاعته في الشباك آه بخط العربات كلها بصف ممكن يختار باللون او يختار بالحجم او يختار ب آه يعني الحاجات اللي هو بيحبها بخطهم مع بعض <تصفيق> ففي ساينس كثيره نحن عملنا فيديوهات قبل كده وتكلمنا عن العلامات دي لكن لو لاحظت واحده من العلامات دي او لاحظتي واحده من العلامات دي آه امشي للدكتور آه يتكلموا معاه في انه يعملوا تشخيص او يتحققوا 
يلا مسألتين بتتكلم عنها ما معنى إنها حتحصل في حاجة أصلا كونك تطالب بمساعدة الطفل ده ما حيدو عملية حقنة انفيسيف أو حاجة حتأثر عليه المساعدة اللي انت حتقدمها له هي العلاج بتاع المهارات occupational therapist المعالج بتاع المهارات المعالج بتاع المخاطبة speech therapist ال behavioral therapist اللي هو اللي بيعالج السلوكيات تمام؟ الناس ديل مع بعض بيتلموا بيعملوا حاجة اسمها خطة بتاع التعليم خطة تعليمية لما يختاروا لكم الخطة التعليمية دي لازم تتبعوها في البيت زي ما متابعينا في المدرسة بنفس المستوى التشخيص ممكن يجيك من دكتور أو ممكن يجيك من بسموهم التشخيص المبكر ده للناس الموجودة في أمريكا موجودة في دولة فيها الخدمات دي موجودة لو أنتوا في دولة الخدمات دي ما موجودة فيها دوس سيرفيسز خدمات ما موجودة في بالإنترنت لكن ده إنترنت ده إنترنت is a slippery slope yeah. إنترنت خطير لأنه ممكن تلقوا معلومات مفيدة you can find uh, meaningful beneficial information وممكن تلقى معلومات ممكن تضرك أو yeah, تضرك don't web MD Don't web MD it. Listen to parents. There are yeah. a lot of groups. في مجموعات كثيرة هي بتتكلم عن تجربتها. عشان كده لما أنا أتكلم عن تجربة كريم when we talk about my journey with Kareem is to help other parents عشان نساعد أمهات عندهم أطفال مشخصين أو أطفال هم شاكين في إنه هم في مرحلة بتاعت أو واحدة من درجات طيب التوحد one of the autism spectrum uh, diagnosis so if you don't have a place to call there is no school لو ما في مدرسة لو ما في دكتور no doctor no early intervention تشخيص مبكر خدمات دي all those services ما موجودة اجتهد تجتهدوا انتو وطبعا صعب تقول الكلام ده لزول هسه قاعد في الحرب someone is at war in Sudan They don't have the internet. They don't have the resources. So it is not easy, but that's what we're doing now. That's right. what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. We're trying to help if you can listen to us. I'm going to write a book for a few times. Sometimes it's easier to read it than hear or watch a whole video. In some cases, it's easier to read than to watch a whole video. In some cases, it's easier to read than to watch a whole video. In some cases, it's easier to read than to watch a whole video. ورونا نحن بنعملها يعني. <تصفيق> so anyways. Uh -huh. thing, no, 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 no so far. Okay. Um, another thing that you can do is anything is, is developing a schedule, right? Yeah. So if you notice that your child is, you know, you see some signs and you're not sure, but you don't have a way to get intervention or get any help. Do what you can do at home. Start developing a schedule for consistency because really a child who has autism or, or any kind of uh, special ability, they need consistency in order for them to stay on track. Yeah. Uh, just like my son. My son hasn't been diagnosed with autism, but I can tell that he does better if he has yeah. a schedule. Yeah. If he just wakes up and things are all of sort, it, the whole day is gone. Mm -hmm. You know, so that something as simple as developing a schedule at home could help you and your child together. Yeah, um, schedule, جدول, تعملوا جدولا لمواعيد الطفل. الأطفال في طفل التوحد. The kids on the spectrum, right? They follow a routine. بيتبعوا جدول. يعني مثلا لو عودتوهم if you teach them. When they wake up, every day, mm -hmm. you wake up, you go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that another time. But mm -hmm. <clears throat> what we want you to do now is to create a routine. تعملوا جدول وتلتزموا بالجدول ده كل يوم. لأنه التغيير, change in their routine and their schedule, تغيير في جدولهم ده, بيخليهم ممكن يكونوا irritated. They become irritated. They will throw tantrum. They will cry. It won't help them. 
So create a routine, but also work on breaking that routine every now and then. Yeah. So they need to practice. Mm -hmm. If something happened out of the ordinary, لو حاجة حصلت برا الجدول ما يحصل لهم يعني breakdown melting. Right. This is important. Um. So that's actually I I started this with my son a long time ago. Like we have a schedule Monday through Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday is just, you know, I, you know, I see how, how he is on, on those yeah. days. You know, I, I let him do his own thing. Um, and that kind of helps because then he knows come Sunday night, I don't have to tell him to go shower, get ready for school. He's already putting out his stuff and organizing yeah. his stuff to where he needs to have it. So having a routine is going to help your child 100%. And even if they don't have autism, oh, yeah. even having if they don't have anything, having yeah. a schedule is important. <clears throat> a request. One hold on, before Sorry. the request, one of the things that we talked about Maya is that the child يوم الاثنين ليوم الجمعة لأنه في مدرسة هو أكبر شوية متعود إنه في حاجات بيعملها روتين. I'm talking about what you just said. I'm about to say whatever she said is right. السبت والأحد بتديه إجازة يعمل الحاجة اللي هو عايزها. So Saturday and Sunday it's a free weekend. Yeah. So he can do whatever. This will teach them adaptation. Yeah. يتعلمهم إنه متعودوا إنه ممكن يحصل تغيير الدنيا دي ما جدول بس مش. لكن at the same time في نفس الوقت من يوم الاثنين ليوم الجمعة عارفين لما تطلع الساعة سبعة جاء دي مواعيد الحمام الجهاز النوم هسا كريم بالنسبة لكريم for كريم he knows that he comes from school like when he wake up in the morning he come down he نزله بيدخل الحمام بيقعد يفطر بعد ما يخلص بيغير هدومه يمشي بشي الشنطة وبيمشي المدرسة يلا we do this every day بنعمله كل يوم هسا بقى عارف زمنه 8.15 نحنا we leave the house we leave the house at 8.15 بنطلع 8 وربع 8 وربع he doesn't know the clock ما بيعرف الساعة كم لكن he knows next is putting my jacket so today what he did and I'm gonna post the video مشى شال شنطته he took his Book bag, mm -hmm. the school bag. He put on his jacket, the wrong jacket. But hey, he did it. He did it. Yeah. He put he put the raincoat, and he put his book bag in the front, and he grabbed our hand and he's he like, he was ready to go. Basically, well, let's go. <laughs> he can't, and that made me so happy because yeah. he can't communicate. Ma, يعني ما بيتكلم معانا لسه إنه خلاص راح الزمن. لكن he showed you, yeah. like مشى. جرى الجاكيت حقه شال الشنطة اللي بيسا بقى دلبا he wore it backwards and he grabbed our hand and he's like let's go you're taking too much right so consistency is important so and sorry sorry and um لما يجي راجع when he comes back he knows that the first thing he will go wash his hand غسل يدينه يغير هدوم المدرسة change his school clothes and then he will take a snack he will sit down and eat his grilled cheese, and if you give him something else for a snack other than grilled cheese, he will look at it, stare at it, sniff it, push it, and then <laughs> everything. So, but yeah, it. but then he will he will get used to it. But yeah. after after we do this, he knows what next. Before he goes to bed, he knows when he hear the water running, we start to get his clothes out. Mm -hmm. um, this is what pajama. He's wearing his pajamas, PJs. They're out there, and then the water is running. He knows it's bath time. زمن الحمام. He do من نوم. بزدتو. We're good to know. So it's it's that that's the routine you gotta develop. So the request is: What attitudes should families and communities and individuals have towards autism? Because it's very stigmatized. It's a very stigmatized issue. And this is the post from today. The post of Gibel, I wrote it because it's not just the stigma. Not just because of the stigma, stigma from the community mm -hmm. and the society, mm -hmm. but it's stigma from your own family. Right. Meaning, the look, 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 the
ما معناه مختلف يعني ما معناه انه للاختلاف ما ضروري يكون حاجه كعبه being different is not a bad thing right but a lot of people look at it as a bad thing right uh, your family member mm -hmm. that's why people feel ashamed mm -hmm. of talking about their kids special needs or taking um, لما يكون طفلك um, يعني مشخص بتوحد ولا عنده احتياجات خاصه في اسر كثيره بتخجل من الحاجه دي mm -hmm. so how can we change that we can change it by, by talking. talking about it Talking and about educating it. ourselves and others on what autism what autism is, what are the signs, and what can we do as individuals to help? Because we add to the problem, right? By just ignoring it. By ignoring it, if we see it in our families, by ignoring it, overlooking it, because we want this version of it normal. Be sure. People just um, sometimes to buy the peace of mind, they'll be like, I'm not going to argue with that person. No, right. look at this face. You see my face? I'll argue with everyone when it comes she to will. my son. She will. And and you got to be that way. Yeah. Like you you are your child's advocate, okay? That's first and foremost. So if you can't advocate for your child, you're only setting them up for failure. Yep. Like and, and it's not just advocating for them, but but educating the people around you. Mm -hmm. And don't feel bad or offended. ما تحسوا بانه يعني مش بس خجلانين من طفلكم انه ما بتتكلموا. Uh, لما مشينا المطعم we went to a restaurant before and we were sitting me, Malaz and Ramaz and Kareem um, he was turning from his seat بقبل and مرة ورانا في زولة somebody was sitting in the, in the table behind us and he was just kicking her table he just kicked it with his foot he kicked it with his arm and she just keep giving us that like Contain your child, giving mm -hmm. me that look, like. Mm -hmm. So I, I looked at her and I said, he is autistic. He has autism. He is a child with autism. And I made sure to repeat it. If you don't know what autism is, I would gladly talk to you about it. Right. But you have to understand that some things he does, it's out of his control and my control. في ناس كثيرين لما تسوقوا أطفالكم برا للمطعم ولا غيره بيعينوا لكم زي كأنكم أنتوا تحكم في ولدك ده ولدك ده ولا بنتك قليلين أدب. حصلت لي مع واحدة لكن تكلمت أنا تكلمت معها. ده البوست الجبيل I got questions here on Facebook. People were saying looking at Kareem's videos and his pictures and they're like he is so cute. It doesn't look like he right. has autism. Like he's supposed to be ugly. شكله حلوات وكرومي. كيف يكون عنده توحد? Like thinking that he should have a special feature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. يعني الأطفال التوحد مفروض يكون شكلهم و... يعني عندهم شكل محدد. كلام ده ما يسليم. Yeah, فالحاجة right. دي بتوريك إنه أنت مفروض تسأل مفروض تتكلم وتوعي الناس. To educate people, raising awareness, mm -hmm. and that's why we're doing what we do. We also we have a channel. I have um, stuff that calls Kareem's mission, and Kareem has his TikTok, his own TikTok, that I share his videos, I share his journey, mm -hmm. the struggles, and also the accomplishment. Well, I share it in all, like Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, and YouTube, we share his journey so people can see that there are, like, difference between right. your kid and my kid. But that doesn't make my kid evil, doesn't make them, mm -hmm. uh, you know, bad. Less it, than. Less than. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes them so different, we got a, unique. We got a few questions. So the first question is, what are the causes of autism? Autism is genetic. Mm -hmm. It is, can't get it from touching the doorknob, guys. Okay, don't let them lie to you, all right? It you is, can't get it from immunization. تضعيمات ما بتخلي طفلك طفل توحد. Having, um, like she said, touching the door knob, uh, your kid or, hanging out with another you sit kid. You out with another kid. Without, nope. That's not how it that's works. Not how it it is genetic. Genetic. And it's um, carried from the male. Uh, carried normally from the man, from the father's side. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's given to boys mainly. That doesn't mean it doesn't happen to girls. التوحد, النسبة بتاعت الأطفال, الذكور رجال اولاد اكثر من النساء لكن ما بيعني انه النساء ما عندهم كويس بتجي 
جينات من الفاضر من الأب لكن لسه القصة جديدة autism is new mm-hmm. so every day we're gonna learn something new but so far no immunization cause autism nothing you ate or drank so far caused autism mm-hmm. um, some talked about some medication that moms took during pregnancy or the father by the way because it will transfer right um, to, the, to the child too. right some medication there is a questionable you know uh, some medication could lead to mm-hmm. but you have to have that genetic Component or oh, trait. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so the next question is, uh, what uh, is autism considered hereditary? <clears throat> Sorry, Sorry. We had a phone call <laughs> and we had to hang up. <laughs> um, yes, because it's carried from the father. Isaiah just answered that question. Yep. Next question is, does the use of tablets? have an effect on autism. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that question. Um, I talked I talked about this before. Talked about the thing this before, but we'll talk about it again. The use of computer, the use of tablets, the use computer, the iPad, the telephone, it does not give you autism. It could cause um, like attention deficit right. in some people who are grown to it, mm-hmm. um, uh, depend on what you're watching. Right. Even us, adults, even us, adults, even us, adults, if you get something that makes you hype, if you watch something that makes you... That's why you listen to music, right, exactly. exercise music, you yeah. know? People listen to music for the There is exercise music. Mm-hmm. Music. Music. For the Le Riada. Riada. I can't roll so, my tongue, y'all. Um, you know, we always teach you English and Arabic within our, you know, autism or anything else. But um, there is exercise music. Mm-hmm. There is music for relaxation. Mm-hmm. There is music that's going to wake you up. There is things that you're going to see and it's going to wake you up. You cannot watch NCIS and go to sleep. I mean, you can't watch a film with I'm screaming. You're not going to watch a horror movie and sleep right. without having nightmares. So yes, there are um, videos, there are channels that could lead to your kids being hyper and, and putting them in that mood, fighting mood or, right. you know, jumping mood. Right. But it does not cause autism. Right. So you, what I would say as a parent which we've talked about this before, moder- moderation, monitoring, 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 monitoring <laughs> what your kids are watching and what they're listening to is very important. Um, and having boundaries on what they can watch and what they can't watch. But there's no saying that because you give your child an, uh, the iPad every day that they have autism because they watch an iPad every day. And, and I'm going to, I'm going to say something is specific to autism. Hagul <laughs> haja. Uh, مخصوص لأطفال التوحد أطفال طيف التوحد so a lot of people like in general when we talk about kids لما mm-hmm. نتكلم عن أطفال بشكل عام kids in general um, anything in moderation right. أي حاجة تكون بحجم وكمية uh, معقولة يعني لازم يكون في زمن you have to have a time yeah they can use the tablet for and an hour yeah. two hours a day mm-hmm. and then put it away mm-hmm. um they can watch tv for a short period of time but not all day every day mm-hmm. you cannot use the tablet as your babysitter right so guys mm-hmm. computer روضة يبقى روضة بالنسبة للطفل or baby sitting تمام لكن بالنسبة لأطفال التوحد for kids with autism using the tablet is actually beneficial to ask me why uh, first of all there is a study and there are few apps one of them is like go talk now apps that is um, designed uh, applicationات mm-hmm. معمولة مخصوص designed specifically for kids with autism 
so they can learn how to communicate right. بتساعدهم في المخاطبه بتساعدهم في في to follow the direction يعني نحن علمنا we taught Kareem how to brush his teeth by using brush your teeth song mm -hmm. right and you put that on a tablet there is colorful steps and they learn more right. because kids with autism in general and and they could be exceptions but they like um routine right they mm -hmm. like routine and they also don't sit and listen to you as a person right they don't take direction but if they like something they will learn from it right so for kareem for example we have a tablet that the therapist used just recently start using um you put the picture of the parents families of their favorite food mm -hmm. um, the routine the steps they do they push a class mm -hmm. right it's just like using the picture but you're using it on a tablet right same thing um kareem learn to count and and learn the letters the abc's some songs some people learn by music like maya for example mm -hmm. so في ناس بيتعودوا وبيتعلموا بالموسيقى فلما تلقى حاجه نافعه معاهم stick to it just do it um my personal experience and kareem is truly um advancing kareem بيتطور كل يوم بيبدا يتكلم بيجا يعرف العلاقه بين الحاجات ففي الغنوات في غنوات مخصصة mm -hmm. special channels or apps that help kids with autism right. بيقدر يعرف انه this snow those are the steps up down so it's teaching and it depends on how you're using your tablet computer everything as long as you're using it to educate the kid uh, you monitor you yes. also give Monitor. them a specific time. Yes, gotta give them specific times. You have some Arabic. Tuta masa al khair. Kareem is zayak. Adas Kareem is just saying um, good evening. Oh, hi Kareem. <laughs> Next question is Is autism considered a physical or psychological disease? First of all, it's not a disease. <clears throat> let's, let's talk about this. At tawahud ma marad. Autism is not a disease. Disease is marad. Say marad. Marad. Marad is disease. Mm -hmm. Marad or disease are like, you know, um, what kind of diseases? I I'm just thought about AIDS. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm it's, <laughs> yeah. Yep. HIV. Yep. Yeah. Uh, disorders so. um, is different. Autism right. is disorders. Disorder. Okay? So, um... Uh, what's the question? Uh, is it considered physical or psychological disease? So it's okay, not a so disease. It's not a disease. First of all, who a mamarat, who a ikhtilaf qudrat. So neurological. Mm -hmm. And it's not mental. Neurological is different. Al mukh bitahkum, al firing, the electric firing, mm -hmm. is different. Al mukh birasil isharat. Tamam? Yalal isharat di. Uh, بتمشي بطريقة مختلفة different path عندها طريق مختلف وبسرعة مختلفة مثلا نديك مثال give you an example مثال مثال example مثال 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 example of the difference when the neurons fire in your brain mm -hmm. and a kid with autism brain right اختلاف ال ال لما انت شوف انت أو تشوفي أنت صورة when you see a picture mm -hmm. and you hear a sound تسمع صوت mm -hmm. and there is 600 sounds around us all day every day mm -hmm. right you don't hear all of them right. أنت ما بتسمعهم كلهم يعني هسا أنا بتكلم معاكم I'm talking to you I can hear Maya mm -hmm. and I can see this but my brain knows how to put them in compartment. Right. In like processing. Process. So the autism is processing the visual uh, among other things, right? But I'm talking just about that processing part. When you hear a sound, mm -hmm. a car, mm -hmm. 
And then you hear the door. I just heard the garage open. Door fatah mush. And then you hear Maya saying, mm -hmm. I can hear this and keep it separate. Right. For Karim's brain or any kid with autism, all of them hit at the same time. Yeah. So they get sensory and visual and everything mm -hmm. overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So they hear everything amplified. With the same clarity. Mm -hmm. If I want to focus on hearing Maya, I will ignore Sota Talaja in the background. Right. Mm -hmm. In the brain of an autistic kid, you hear everything the same high ah, level, mm -hmm. you know, that, that uh, squeaky sound that mm -hmm. you hear outside. So it's a neurological processing. Mm -hmm. يلا اختلاف القدرات والمهارات دي different abilities and skills it become the main thing مقدرتهم على التعامل مع الآخرين how to deal with others مقدرتهم على إيصال يعني talking to you and expressing يوصلوا مشاعرهم بتختلف مقدرتهم على إنهم to understand the social cues. مقدرتهم على معرفة يعني لما أنت تكون حزين if there is something making you sad you're gonna be sad, right? Kareem might not understand. Like he could hit me and I'm saying ow, that hurt. He doesn't know what to do. He's not gonna know يتفاعل معاي كيف ولا يقوم يحنسني and when you come to them and say, I'm sorry, it's a boo-boo. Let mommy kiss the boo-boo. Mm -hmm. That's what you do with your normal, mm -hmm. um, let's just say normal babies, right? Mm -hmm. So with your normal uh, developing child, you will say something and they will feel it. Right. So the atypical, they call it neurotypical and atypical. Neurotypical, that's mean someone neurologically functioning just like you and I. I might have some autism too, but with 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 the uh, atypical, they just function differently. Right. Um, next question: Is there an age? Oh well, first question before that: Is there a chemical treatment for autism? Nope. You are going to hear this, and please, I push my hair back so you can see my face. Look at me. You see those eyes? I'm making them bigger. <laughs> Look at me. There is no surgery. ما في عملية حتغير طفلك وتمسح منه التوحد. Gonna delete, remove, cure them from autism. ما في عملية. في ناس people trying to benefit from this. A lot of people. في ناس كتار بيستغلوا عدم المعرفة. They try to take advantage. استغلال taking advantage of the lack of information من قلة المعلومات الموجودة برا ما في معلومات enough there is not enough information so people some people sick people are trying to take advantage of the hope من الأمل اللي أنت بتكون حاسس به إنه طفلي ده أنا عايز أساعده I wanna help my son my daughter how am I gonna help him بتعلق بالقشة you know, الغرقان بيتعلق بالقشة. Someone who is desperate, you are going to find anything. If you're drowning, you're going to grab anything and try to survive. Right. So if you want to help your son or daughter, you are going to listen to someone who will tell you. Um, you can have, some, some guy said, oh, you can remove uh, spinal cord fluids injected into the child brain. No, I'm serious. Somebody actually oh, wow. did that. First of all, that is not okay. Right. There is answer. no spinal fluids injection in your brain is going to remove the autism or cure. Mm -hmm. The same way when we talked about um, pyramid schemes, run away, yeah. I'm going to tell you right now. If someone come to you and say, I will cure your son or daughter from autism. If you follow this or give me this money, run, yeah. fly, crawl, do whatever. Don't talk to that person. Because there is no cure 
that there is adaptation, there is behavior modification, mm -hmm. there is a speech therapy, there is occupational therapy, there is behavioral therapy. لو في زول قال لكم أنا حأخلي طفلك ده يبقى ما عنده توحد بكرة. If someone said to you they are going to cure your son or daughter, أجو خارجو. زي الفكرة بتحت ال 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 pyramid scheme. الخداعات بتاعت التسويق الشبكي والتسويق الهرمي بنفس المستوى آه شكرا هي said you have beautiful eyes okay I'm gonna make I'm gonna do that to you go watch me <laughs> so um, لو في زول قال لكم آه حأعالج طفلك أجروا آه في معالجة بتاعت مخاطبة علاج سلوكي وغيره ما في any surgical intervention ما في علاج عملية بتخلي الطفل يبقى مع توحد Next question is. Just kidding. If we don't see. Oh, your, sorry. Uh huh. Is there an age which autism can end for kids? There is. This is. They call it living with autism. التعايش مع طيف التوحد. Living with autism. تعيش مع طيف التوحد. ده بيعني إنه هو بسموه adaptation. يعني you just become able to live mm -hmm. with the diagnosis mm -hmm. and with the differences. Mm -hmm. بتتعود إنك تعيش عشان كده بيسموها مهارات اكتساب مهارات or basic life skills. Right. مهارات للحياة مهارات لأي حاجة حتى التخاطب ده عشان كده قبل قلنا الروتين we said using routine mm -hmm. uh, getting early intervention. الست سنين الأولى this is not six this is ten I'm saying I'm saying six what is the matter um, the first six years الست سنين الأولى في حياة طفلكم هي أهم the most important age where they call it the golden age السنة الذهبية why ليه عشان دي الزمن الممكن تعمل فيها تغيير كبير في حياة طفلك ممكن تساعده في اكتساب مهارات بتعمل له بيقولوا شنو تريننج ترين ذيم تو بي سكسسفول وبالمناسبه الاطفال يعني لو لاحظتوا لطفلكم من بدري اف يو بي كلوز اتنشن تو يور تشايلد يو ويل نو ذات ذي ار سمارت اند ذي ويل ادفانس از سمثينج ذي لايك لازم تعرفوا هم قدراتهم ماشيه وين يعني هسه مثلا انا لاحظتها I I realize that Karim is so artistic. Yeah. Like he can draw. He will. I mean, he think I'm Tweety Bird. Yeah. He draw me like Tweety Bird, but he can draw. So you want to work on their skills, mm -hmm. okay? Brushing teeth. It is not a skill that. يعني الكيتس ممكن your 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 daughter or or son بتعلمون بتوريهم إنه كيف يسوقوا. How to brush their teeth, and they will do it. Mm -hmm. For the kids with autism, you have to teach them, and you have to put it in a routine. So, be successful, maharadi, and they will live their lives all with autism. But they will be able to function. They will be able to live in the middle of life. They might not know the social cues. They might not learn how to look at someone and feel empathetic mm -hmm. or sympathy. Mm -hmm. They feel sympathy. I can't say it. يتعاطفوا مثلا ممكن they will never develop that maybe they will never or maybe they will develop it. So it's a case by case and it depends on the severity. If your child is mild autism they might live a life that you would not notice right. that they are autistic. I think I am. Yeah. Every, listen, every one of us here mm -hmm. we all have anxiety We all have depression, and I mean it because you have to go. You're human. Into bani adamin, had hissu bil mashaghir. بنفس المستوى كلنا عندنا درجة بتاع التوحد. Autism. Um, sometimes you say, "Oh, I am just this person is a antisocial." That's the degree of autism. The درجة من التوحد. Somebody might not be able to process things. You have sensory overload. Yeah. Um, you get overwhelmed with lights. Or sounds. Or sounds. في ناس بيكون يعني ما بيكونوا عارفين روحهم مشخصين. لكن لما نسمع أصوات عالية بتضايقوا. 
بتضرسوا يعني مثلا هسه في وحده لما تسمع صوت الفلين when you hear that um that white uh, thing you would call it فلين no 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 uh, uh, like um ساعدوني help me here um when you have a package and you have that white oh, thing the phone the, 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 phone. the peanuts Uh, the crunching yes. peanuts, the foaming peanuts, the phone. packing peanuts, packing the, peanuts. The packing. Some mm -hmm. people get that sound is like yeah, it's uh, creepy. I can't listen to the. I can't. Uh, the, yeah. pop, the the popping thing. The popping I do. I That's can't. a relief for me. But the white foam mm -mm. and filin in Arabic it's filin. Filin. But I can't know. I don't know where it is. I don't English. mess with the filin. But anyway, okay. I don't mm -hmm. mess with the filin. Mm -hmm. So a filin is not. A sound. A lot of people have a problem. Yes, Umnura. Umnura said, I'm going to study. 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 Umnura said, I'm Um, tell me, yes, but yes. but a lot of people um, have different way of receiving mm -hmm. inputs. Right. Um, if you ever felt like loud noise irritates you, loud loud light, I want to say, <laughs> bright light mm -hmm. irritates you. Some people go through phases that certain things. Yeah, Yara said hit them wrong. Certain foods. Certain foods. Ah, واحدة من الحاجات ال عرفنا بها كريم برضو في البداية something that we saw at early age with Kareem is the texture for a whole like maybe six months, ستة شهور. كريم ده كان بيأكل soup شوربة شوربة. He only eats soup, not just soup. You have to make it to make him good. Like and and having nutrition, we start to make um, the potato. It was chicken potato soup that has like cream, heavy cream. We start to put a lot of butters. We start to give them a lot of nutritional um, mm -hmm. stuff in it. But and you put corn and vegetables and stuff. If the color change to red or not white, he would not eat it. Oh, wow. Like his very first um, time. And, and he was getting off the feeding too. One of the things that you will notice with a lot of kids with autism, uh, most of them will have some um, um, uh, issue with their digestive system. Mm -hmm. And that could be correlation. There is no research on that. But Kareem had issues at the beginning and he ended up having a surgery, and they fixed his intestines. They were... Uh, my rotation and then after that he had a feeding tube wow. um, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. الأكل بالنسبة له, um, certain things potatoes it was potato um, cream potato cream that, that thick soup mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about he loved that thing we, we, we would go we used to go buy it from um, Sam's Club for like the big thing and come and mix it at the stuff Mm -hmm. Until I learned how to make it myself, like you cut small cubes, and we tried to pack it with nutrition. But then I'm lehu nutrition. But um, so a lot of kids have issue with spaghetti, like the texture of food, mashed potatoes, uh, like Yara said. Um, some people only. Uh, a lot of kids at my son's school now, they will only eat French fries. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be creative, yeah. and you gotta know. So more more people are learning now that they do have some form mm -hmm. of autism, mm -hmm. but it doesn't become a diagnosis. It's not gonna be a problem. Ma hatabga mushkila, ma lam taasir fi hayatika liyomiya. Until it affects your daily routine, taasir fi hayatika liyomiya, wal hajat al inta taamala, ma bitabga mushkila. Same like if you have OCD. Mm -hmm. Some kids with autism and OCD have a relationship. So Kareem has some form uh, and it's not pronounced, but OCD is repetitive, right? Repeating the same things so or doing the same thing because you feel if you don't do it, something is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Hershey Park, when we go to Hershey Park, 
and he goes to the water park. Uh, fi, uh, al fountain, mm -hmm. with the water. What mm -hmm. do you call it? <clears throat> it comes from the floor, from the ground. Mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. Fi, water fountain. Moya. You know, fount like that. It's like a circle. Mm -hmm. So Karim will go touch it all. And sometimes he'll be running, he run fast. Bijri bi sura'a. فَلَمَّا نِهْبِشْ الْأُولَى touch the first one وَيْهْبِشْ الْتَانِيَا and he's running, he will miss one he will come right back and start from the beginning boop, boop, touch them all so we all have some form of OCD that is making us survive and not go and put our hand in um, <laughs> common sense right. put your hand in the fire or do that so you just have to know if it's not affecting you like the uh, OCD if you don't have to do this million times and it's affecting you from going to work, living your life, you're fine. Same with autism. If you have any degree that is not affecting you, if you're hearing loud noise and you can't leave the house because you're afraid of the light, you're afraid of the noise, you're afraid of people, you're afraid to that point, then you need real help. Okay? Question? So, ahlan, ahlan, Mo, uh, I'm going to read some of the Arabic. Um, taslam, taslam, ya Mo, ya Mustafa, Ustaz Mustafa, Ali Kinani, Yasir, uh, everyone, kullakum, um, some texture, yeah? And Allah yadikum al-afiyah, wallahi majhud, mugadder minnakum. She said, God grants you health and, and this is a very, a big, Effort. So thank you, Ya Um Noura. Um, how to fix it? Which to fix which one, Ya yeah, Noor? Ali uh, Kinani. When did autism begin to be discovered? Okay. So uh, until Noor, Noor. Um, you said what, what did Noor say? How to fix the problem. how to fix the problem? Um, please be specific, Noor. Which problem? Because uh, I, I was like rambling, I said a lot of stuff. So which problem is specifically you want me to talk about how we fix it? And until Noor answer, لحد ما نور يرد لنا, Ali قال, أستاذ Ali, قال 200 or when uh, we, we can discover uh, the diagnosis. As early as one years old or before. With Kareem, مع Kareem, أنا بديت أعرف بدري جدا الأم والأب بالذات the mom and the dad especially if you're paying close attention لو متابعين طفلكم بتعرف إنه طفلك ده ما عايزك تحضنه like كريم at an early age he wasn't like really wanted you to touch and babies don't do that babies want you to hug them if they get hurt they cry you know they look you in the eye so he was looking his eye contact was Perfect. And he was saying, repeating some things after you. But at the same time, um, he would not let me hug him. ما بيخليك تحضنه. يعني بتبدأ تلاحظ حاجات بسيطة. You start to notice small things. حاجات بسيطة بتصهر لك. When they reach like a year, a year and a half, it become more pronounced. لما نحصل سنة, سنة ونص, بتبقى واضحة جداً. And you can't miss it. And the child, مجرد ما يبدأ يجيف على حاله ويردد الكلام. Once they start talking and standing up on their own, you will notice that is not repeating. And then you will notice they're not focusing. When you talk to them, you feel like you're talking to someone who can't hear you. Right. لما نطفلك تحس إنه زي اللي بتتكلم مع الحيطة. We have an example in Sudan, when you talk to someone and they don't answer you, you say, am I talking to a wall here? Go to the kalam ahayta, lemmen tahis innu tiflak, yani biti kalam maha, wa huwa ma muntabih lik, kanna biti kalam maha ahayta. When you doubt that your son or daughter can't hear, then they go get the test. Bimshu 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 بتأكدوا أول حاجة إنه ما في مشكلة عضوية. There is no problem that affecting their hearing. Same with the vision. When you see your son or daughter stare, sometimes كريم كان بخوفني يعني. He scares me because we'll be sitting here and he will look at 
like the fireplace and it's not working and nothing in there and he would start laughing and giggling or talking to it and I'm like what are you seeing that I'm not seeing you're just like what is happening so that's that's um them um making like he probably just saw his shadow and he just did it it like Mm -hmm. Makes sense to him. And then when you try to direct them or you try to hold them, they push you away. Mm -hmm. They start talking and uh, walking in their tippy toes. And that's, it doesn't have to be one. ما في واحدة صاين واحدة تخليك تعمل التشخيص. It has to be more than one sign to make you get the diagnosis or know that there is something that needs to be addressed. That doesn't mean if there is one problem, you can't fix that problem. But it will be a different approach. Your said food colors and then Arabic. Okay, how to fix uh, Okay, so Noor question is how we can fix the food sensitivity or um, the way um, you know the the um, what, what did we say the word um, like kids with autism a texture mm -hmm. yeah al al melmes say melmes melmes. 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 Melmes is like a texture of the food. Mm -hmm. So how can you fix it? What we fix it with Kareem is we start to get his hand. Like he, when, when he touched something, he's like, mm -hmm. and he clean his hand right away. Mm -hmm. Okay. But so if you feel, for example, he said the lentil. Adas, mm -hmm. um, you don't like the texture of Adas. Nurana za'lana minna. I'm mad at you, Noor. I love adas. I love lentil soup. I love lentil soup. And we make al adas thick and you eat it with bread. So if you do not like the soup, al adas texture as a soup, how does it feel if you make it shorba? Or make it thicker. Um, or make it into a Don't bread. mix it. Mm -hmm. Or... Some people, like for example, if you like adas and you just don't like the texture, mix it with um, ajin. Some people make like pa'miya bil adas. You can make other things with it. How you can fix it is exposure. Mm -hmm. uh, exposing in my work and in my not work. It did work a little bit with Kareem. مع Kareem قدرنا نتجاوز الحاجة دي شوية ما شديد. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So now he will tolerate those textures a little bit longer and then you can you can start by buying those sensory um like they have um what you call it the um the silly body silly buddy silly putty yeah are you talking play-doh yeah play-doh okay there is play-doh and then there is silly buddy the play dough is like the texture is different. Oh, the silly oh, buddy, oh, you mean like the slime? The slime. Yeah. Okay. So Noor, get a slime. I know it's so disgusting, but Jiba Amela, uh, what we did is we put his hand like I get the mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. He used to be disgusted with the mashed potatoes. He still won't eat it. Uh, n n doesn't matter how you do it, but. We get the mashed potato, we stuck his hand, and he pull it right away. We نظفه, we قشة فيك, everything. So when you do it more, mm -hmm. he knows it doesn't hurt. So you desensitize or train the brain to like what they feel. And sometimes they're not going to like it. Like my son does not like Parmesan cheese. Like he will yell and scream. Please really? don't put Parmesan cheese on my food. I want the mud barmajan. He, he does not like scary. it at all. So that, that song was viral. I want more barmajan. <laughs> um, your her son, and it could be something just different. Yeah. Like who doesn't like parmesan? You might gonna say who doesn't like parmesan? Asher doesn't like parmesan, and it's okay. Yeah, um, this is it. his preferences, and it's probably associated in his brain with something. Yeah, like, I think, like, it, the, when I, it's cheese and it's shaking it out, he's looking at it like, what is going so on? So he won't, he won't eat it, and he will literally cry if it's on his spaghetti or any kind of pasta. Give me Asher's you have to, parmesan. You I have love to parmesan. scoop it off of his plate, and then he will look at his plate until he doesn't see any. Or he'll pick it off. Oh, my God. You guys, have you heard that song, uh, Parmesan? 
it was in America, Got Talent. He was like my favorite. He, it, the song was not good, but it was catchy, the music and everything. So, um, هل الوضع الاقتصادي للبلدان قد يؤثر في تطور الأطفال مثل الاهتمام بإنشاء مراكز تدريب ورعاية؟ يعني مثلا سلوك طفل في بلد متطور يختلف عن سلوك طفل في بلد نامي. So the question is, the economic or the uh, like a, a country, the country's uh, economic or the family's economic status or the economy in general, would it affect how the kids, does it affect their development? Would it affect um, in like creating um, training, marakis uh, tadrib wariaya? So um, like the the, the mission autism or the autistic center or centers that help with autism. <coughs> so umnur, definitely the um al wada al iktisadi biathir, ma biathir fi tifli. يعني ما بديك أنت عند التوحد. It doesn't cause autism, but it will cause delay. يعني مثلا في السودان in Sudan, I learned I had a guest before, and she came and talked about autism um, training in Sudan, right? Or centers. What they do is they're not following the true educational plan. They were teaching them to blow on paper, like that's all the kids do. They sit and yes, this help. Um, speech if you have a problem oh. with your yeah it does like the muscle in your jaw but it's not going to help a kid who doesn't speak because right. he's autistic يعني يا أم نور مثلا الفهم القدرة الإمكانية the ability to have appropriate training القدرة إنك أنت تأخذ تدريب يعني professional تأخذ مكان مواقع يكون فيها أجهزة أجهزة إلكترونية تابلت this all affect the kid and it affect their six years of go six I'm doing it again I don't know how to count y'all six it affect the six years the golden years so yes definitely the economic status of the family the individual or the country could affect لأنه ممكن يكون أنت ما عندك قروش وما تقدر تودي طفلك لمركز متخصص you might not have money, so your kid will not go to a specialized mm -hmm. training. ممكن يكون ما عندك قروش تودي طفلك عشان ما ياخد علاج نطق. You might not have money to get them a speech therapist. ممكن ما يكون عندك قروش تجيب لهم occupational therapist. تجيب لهم يكون عندك قروش تجيب لهم متخصص بتاع مهارات. فدي كلها فعلا بتأثر. لكن لو الأم والأب يجتهدوا وعملوا نفس الكلاسز دي التريننج ده في البيت في اونلاين في حاجه اسمها اوتيزمو في ويب سايت اسمها لينجو كيدز في ويب سايت متخصصه بتعمل دراسه او او تيتشينج بتدرس الطفل في البيت يعني بطريقه والبنفيت بطريقه بتساعدهم وتو هيلب ذيم ذا واز ات Okay, I guess what time is it? Is it time to go? 2.41. Okay. So anyways, thank you guys for staying with us. Uh, remember, every Monday is Autism Monday. كل يوم اثنين يوم التوعية بطيف التوحد. حنتكلم من تجارب, نتكلم من نصايح ونجاوب على الأسئلة. لو في أي نصيحة, أي حاجة أنتوا عملتوها, ساعدتكم if you've done anything that helped you or helped your son or daughter to get better, to become, to develop skills, um, share it with us. Send us videos, send us comments, send us anything to help us help other parents. So thank you guys and we will see you tomorrow at 1.30. Bye Don't guys. forget to like, share, comment, yeah, invite don't, all friends. Don't make me have to come find you There is over 71,000 here. If every Hold and on. each one of you invited 10 people, we are going to hit a huge number. And we need that. See you later. <laughs> See you later, Noor. Our last live, our last live video we was, have shared. was shared 27 times, guys. 
So share. Really? Thank you. We, share more. We need more. more shares. We need more of you guys to like the page, follow the page, and follow us on TikTok and on Instagram. And YouTube. Don't and forget YouTube. the YouTube. So, all right. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. We're going to be clicking, clicking, clicking. Screaming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye. Bye, Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.